So if you want to master the Sith Raid with minimum effort possible, oh geez. Well, let me interest you in a General Skywalker. Bring your own raid boss to attack the raid bosses. Ladies and gentlemen, my goodness. Uh, Sith Raid content, what used to be the most difficult content of all time, is seriously a cakewalk for General Skywalker and the 501st clones. Let me emphasize, I am no Sith Raid expert by any stretch of the imagination, but Anakin Skywalker, General Skywalker in phase one, he literally is like the bowling alley where you put the rails up and you're almost guaranteed to always hit the pins. That is exactly what he is because he is indestructible by Darth Nihilus and Darth Nihilus just tickles him for the whole entire raid. I also got some phase four gameplay to share with you guys today. I never tested out phase two or phase three, but I could see this character easily being one of the top teams in every single phase. The 501st are just absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you how all this is going to pan out. Hold on. Uh, bar committee's calling me. Well, hello there. General Kenobi. Yes, I'd like to become a licensed attorney. Yep. Yeah, pass the bar exam. How much money do you need for me to apply to be a lawyer? Are you insane? <gasps> I just wailed out on a mobile game character. Oh gosh. How am I gonna find this money? Oh gosh. Oh. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a sponsor for today's channel, Raid Shadow Legends. I've never taken a sponsorship before on this channel and today's the first time ever because you know why? The game is fantastic. I've heard about the game before and I played the game before these amazing people reached out to me. The game is so awesome. Just ask Gary. Wow! And if you don't trust Gary's opinion, just look at the reviews themselves. Over 300,000 reviews on the Play Store with a near perfect score and over 10 million downloads in the first six months of the game's release. There's constantly new content being added with the most recent addition being Faction Wars. And one of my absolute favorite things about this game, no matter if you're on iOS or Android, you can adjust the graphical quality. You like 60 frames per second, you can toggle that on. If you like ultra great graphics, go ahead and turn that on, baby. If you're someone like me that likes to play games on the side that are RPG mobile games where you can collect and build and battle your characters up against other people this is the game to play i mean the graphics and the gameplay are just so awesome i literally feel like i'm inside of the game battling alongside my champions and i didn't even get to the best part it's totally free for the first 90 days of playing the game as a new player there's always going to be awesome rewards for you to go in and collect every single day and if you like more free stuff there's a link down below in the video description please go ahead and click on it and if you are a new player you will get a hundred thousand silver two clan boss keys and 10 mr shards and one free champion the executioner and if you do use my link be sure to go to the inbox in your game within the first 30 days of playing so you can claim all these juicy rewards so please guys go ahead check this game out support these guys like they are supporting me ios or android go check it out good luck and i'll see you there so let's hop into the gameplay and show you what is going down right now basically the things you want to keep in mind is really anakin's taunt when he's in advance he, and when he's in the advanced state, he cannot lose this permanent taunt and you can't remove the health of his allies hiding behind his taunt. And the funny thing about Darth Nihilus is that his basic ignores protection and goes straight to health. Therefore, no protection damage. Well, the problem is you can't chew away at Anakin's health until the rest of the team falls down. So that means he's basically going to go through the whole raid without taking any damage whatsoever. So therefore, the taunt is going to stay up the whole entire run for phase one. And that's what I was trying to say, that it's literally Sith raid on rails, where it's so easy and so mind-numbingly easy, where you just kind of just randomly shoot and you don't have to worry about counting Darth Nihilus' crazy ability. Just go spray and pray, do massive damage. And really, the only thing to keep in mind is control the tenacity up, keep as much as possible, reducing the debuffs on your team. And really, the other important mechanic here is going to be unbreakable will that's that special ability you have for phase one and you want to time it out right before nihilus does an annihilate and you want skywalker to be the very last character to use unbreakable will therefore you want characters like fives ahsoka rex and echo to use their unbreakable will first but only one at a time for each annihilate that's about to come in and when you use unbreakable will nihilus always goes and annihilates the character with unbreakable will so even though anakin's taunting nihilus ignores him for the time being and goes up against the guy trying to be all macho with unbreakable will and then yes they're gonna they're gonna annihilate him they're gonna survive the hit and then luckily once they lose unbreakable will they're gonna regain all their health get back to 100 percent health and while anakin's taunting they're all safe and cozy behind anakin's love and one another thing i love about this team besides the crazy damage output which we'll talk uh, talk about in a second is that unlike a lot of other teams i always found it kind of hard to make sure you count and time out the debuffs on your team because when Ny nyla's does his drain force for each debuff that's on the uh, on the character he has he's going to decrease the cooldowns of annihilate and sometimes it was just it was hard to keep track 
of all that in my opinion but luckily skywalker and the tenacity up from captain rex it's so easy and uh, most of most of the time when nihilus does drain force he's not gonna have any debuffs whatsoever to reduce the cooldowns of a nihilus so you're really prolonging the state of this phase and limiting the numbers of drain uh, annihilates that uh nihilus can do and of course the biggest thing about this team the raw damage output luckily you can armor shred nihilus which is going to increase the amount of damage you can put on him and secondly everyone has just high critical damage in offense as i showed you i modded heavily for offense so fives he's doing like 50 000 damage on a counter-attack echo he assists he does massive damage on his aoe and basic ahsoka tano does very well captain rex he might not be modded for offense and only speed but luckily when he gets to uh, aerial advantage he's going to do 300 000 400 000 500 000 600 000 on that attack so even he's putting out great damage and the reason why you're going to want to stick to a full 501 first and i thought about adding characters like hermit yoda but really at the end of the day you want a full 501 first team because when anakin is with a full squad with the 501 first tag he gets a bunch of extra bonuses those being like 100 percent counter chance and you want that counter chance because when nihilus attacks three times anakin's gonna come back and attack three times himself and he does about 50 to 60 to 70 000 damage on each attack on that basic counter tech and so nihilus hits not anakin does zero damage because his basic sucks against anakin and then anakin comes back in return and does 150 000 damage in total against him and another fantastic thing is this team really doesn't grant a lot of buffs out of turn therefore nihilus can't really get any buffs with this team you're basically guaranteed to get to enrage there's just you can't screw it up normally you might mess up and then he gets enraged early or he annihilates the wrong character with this team i can 100 percent guarantee you you're gonna get to enraged and the thing that happens once you get to enraged this is what because hypothetically speaking if more if minions kept coming with unbreakable will to grant to your team anakin would solo the whole entire phase one of the sith raid unfortunately when nihilus becomes enraged he stops summoning minions therefore he stops summoning characters that will grant unbreakable will so that's the only thing limiting general skywalker from soloing phase one of the sith raid is just simply he stops summoning minions but luckily you're going to be able to prolong the battle even after nihilus becomes enraged who cares about that healing immunity he's applying who cares about the massive damage he's trying to apply to everyone so long as anakin's taunting nihilus can't do squat up against the other characters and as i said earlier make sure everyone uses their unbreakable will when annihilate's about to come and general skywalker let him be the very very last to do unbreakable will. and that's how you're going to maximize your run right after enraged happens it's so easy guys so for me personally for someone that's not really playing optimally i'm literally just kind of spraying and praying doing whatever i like having fun i was easily able to get 13 million damage so i'm guessing when raid masters like skeletrix or whomever who really like to go deep into mods and super optimize the mods and the turn order and strategy i can see this easily becoming a 15 million to 20 million sith raid team so that's going to be one of the best sith raid teams for phase one but of course not a People, not a lot of people have general skywalker right now and not a lot of people have a seven star general skywalker right now but this is just to show you the future potential of the sith raid let's show some phase four gameplay basically it seems like i mean i wasn't able to do it 100 percent because again i'm not the raid expert but i can see general skywalker soloing the darth malik part of phase four i did about 80 85 damage to darth Nas. i was close to finishing uh, him off completely but of course probably made some mistakes was this out that was my first phase four run as i'm showing you right now so i didn't get a chance to redo it and uh, try again and it's kind of the same drill but this time the reason why anakin can basically almost finish off darth nihilus on his own with the 501st is now you're getting the 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 pain from the, the scion being applied to your team and especially once you max it out and you get all the way to cycle of suffering the damage output all of a sudden gets crazy high anakin starts doing like 130,000 damage if anakin has cycle of suffering which is kind of ironic because Anakin does kind of uh, prey on his uh, suffering and hate a bit, a little bit to kind of uh, in, the, in the Star Wars lore. So it kind of seems fitting that you want Anakin to get pain and to suffer a bit because the more he's suffering, the more damage output he's doing. So Nihilus attacks three times. Well, Anakin comes back and he hits about 100 plus thousand damage for each attack on his basic, on a counter attack. It's insanely crazy. And then Echo, I believe in this run, 
five sacrificed himself and he gave all of his extra offense to echo and rex and echo is doing like a hundred thousand damage on an assist when you calculate his bonuses from fives as well as the cycle of pain or cycle of suffering so i tried to keep cycle of suffering on as much as possible and the only time i ever cleansed it was when i was trying to control the bonds of weakness on darth trio really the only thing you got to keep track of is the bonds of weakness on her because the, the higher her bonds of weakness scales the more deadly she becomes in terms of when anakin's counterattacking or whatever the case may be the problem with bonds of weakness is that you can't mitigate the damage and it's unavoidable damage and that's why anakin loses taunt the only reason why anakin was going to cover was simply because bonds of weakness so i'm not quite sure what the recipe is for phase four the time to cleanse because when you cleanse cycle of pain and suffering it also pulls away bonds of weakness so that's the problem that i had and that's where the raid masters are probably going to come in and know exactly when to time it out because you don't want anakin ever going down and cover and i made that mistake and even when making those mistakes i was almost able to solo nihilus completely so i think i'm going to say he's going to solo nihilus and you're going to be able to get probably 15 20 million uh, 20 million damage in phase one of the sith raid guys insane team if you're looking for a team that literally is minimum thinking and it's also a top tier team in the game the 501st they're probably one of the best bang for your bucks for pvp and raid content it's just uh it's kind of fun bringing your raid boss that's so broken and fight these other raid bosses and smacking them in the face with your massive counter attack this was a relic 7 general skywalker that we brought in again very end game content a very end game character but at least you can see the potential of what he's going to bring now i did not optimize my mods but i modded anakin for as much critical damage and offense as i possibly could and i know you can get this number up even higher but most likely especially if i threw in an offense mod up there fives i loaded up with a lot of offense because in case he sacrifices himself through tactical awareness he's gonna feed all this juicy offense protection and speed to the rest of his crew therefore echo's gonna do major damage as well as uh captain rex ahsoka tano didn't really do much i just kind of uh gave her some offense mods as well as some uh critical damage mods of course i could find extra areas for extra offense yes i just didn't have the mods again the numbers you're seeing today is from a just a mediocre raid player who didn't really care much about mods and that's what i want to emphasize this team is probably going to be one of the best uh, teams in the sith raid echo a lot of offense nothing too special right there and then captain rex i wanted to be as fast as possible same as the, the 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 arena in my opinion because the faster he is the more tenacity he gets out there and the more tenacity that gets out there you basically are preventing defense down from being applied when you're attacking with the base on darth nihilus therefore slowing down the cooldown decreases for annihilate and drag dragging out the raid as much as possible hope you guys enjoyed the video like if you did enjoy it comment down below on your thoughts and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing and i'll talk to all of you lovely people in the next video peace out everyone